Hello YouTube land, welcome to my very first video. Um, I just received something epic in the mail today, so I thought I'd make a video and share it. This is a World War I German Zeppelin for Ares Games Wings of Glory World War I aerial combat game. It was produced by uh, the Aerodrome's production czar, Dave uh, AKA Clipper and his army of elves. The producer of a plethora of pleasing aeroplanes to supplement pleasant gameplay. And as you can see, it is quite large. Um, for scale, here is the usual minis we play with for the game. And as you can see, it is completely dwarfed by the box. Um, and the aerodrome I mentioned, www.wingsofwar.org, is a website for enthusiasts of the game um, where you can connect with other players and learn all kinds of interesting knowledge about the game, including some insider uh, info. Operated uh, by Keith, um, Colonel Hodge, on the website who also operates uh, his own website, www.aerodromeaccessories.com, an excellent source for minis and accessories for the game. And while I'm doing shout outs, uh, do a shout out to John Boy 9 He uh, inspired me to do these videos. Uh, he's been waiting years for it. Um, probably not this particular video, but here we are. So let's get to it. Wait a minute. Something's missing. There. They're good. Much better. All right. Let's proceed. But wait a minute. Look at the condition of this box. Um, uh, yeah, it's pretty beat up for being more fragile. Um, let's bring the camera over and take a look. Examining the box closer, uh, well, first of all, I have covered up our addresses to protect the innocent and the not so innocent. Uh, but the first thing that jumps out is Dave drew on the top here a little picture of the Zeppelin that is inside being buzzed by an airplane and I find that rather charming thanks Dave uh, but looking farther down here um, the box has taken a hit along here and caved in a little bit and there's about a two inch tear here uh, frankly for being priority mail and for what it costs to ship it, um, it's taking what I would almost call a shocking amount of damage. Um, thank you, United States Postal Disservice. Uh, looking at the front here, there's a place here that's taken a hit and been pushed in, and then the cardboard has buckled underneath. Uh, the damage up top we did, turning it around, over here is where it took the most serious hit. Uh, there's a tear in the cardboard that extends about three or four inches down the side, and then over here there's a pushed in spot and sort of a semi-circular pattern here which uh, from to my eye almost looks as if it was made by the heel of a shoe uh, or not hard to tell but in any case it's put quite a uh, deep ding in there now I saw pictures of it uh, when Dave was packing them and uh, showed how well uh, he put packing material in there, so I'm hoping everything comes out all right uh, and it survived the abuse that it took. Uh, and on that note, I think we'll finally open it. All right, 
Moment of truth has arrived. Let's open this bad boy up. To open cut tape only on this line. Well, that's not working so great. like a surgeon here. There we go. There we go. Bits of the Zeppelin peeking through. So far so good. Here we have what looks to be the cards for the Zeppelin for mission management. Oh, these are awesome. There shows a little picture of the crew and the commander of L11. Um, or the build number was LZ41. That's a rather interesting history, which I probably should have written notes about before doing this, but we can do that another time. These are the mount pegs. They are telescoping, telescoping. So, the Zeppelin can lose and gain altitude. Very ingenious, Dave. All right. Probably excellent. Type P Zeppelin rules for wings of glory. All right, how's that for an arc of fire? See the circle all the way around the circumference? So, no blind spot here. Oh, even nice artwork. And it does look like it does include a bit of the history on it. Damage for the individual gas cell zones. Interesting. I will have much fun reading and digesting that. So it does look like the Zeppelin despite the uh, treatment of the postal presses. And I don't mean all postal workers. I'm sure there's plenty of fine ones, but well, we saw the box on the outside. 
All right, now the moment of truth. There we go. Freed from her moorings at last. Not quite done yet. certainly need this. Oh, <laughs> some assembly required. <laughs> it's got the little, uh, I guess you'd call it a batch number. 144 scale by Clipper, 1301, a.k.a. Dave, 2020. Excellent, Dave. Nice little stand and commemoration plaque all in one. Free her from her moorings. Or would a Zeppelin be a helm? Alright, well, it does look like the hit on the bottom loosened this gondola here, sadly. I'm pretty sure I can fix it, though. Oh, yeah, and it's pretty much mashed the engine on the other side there. That. All right, I'm going to have to spend a little bit of time with, I think, a needle nose pair of pliers to uh, unmash that. I think probably best to wait till uh, I get the pliers out. Still not quite sure where this little bit goes to. I'll have to study study pictures of a completed one. Probably should check the box to make sure if there's any more little bits in there. Yeah, I think that's best less left to a uh, pliers work. And a little bit of super glue. But yes, overall, not too bad. Oh well, I am a hobbyist. Oh jeez, I wonder where that's from. Oh, yeah, I can see on the back of the gondola. Alright, so the pushed in gondolas interfering over here, smidge. Nothing that can't be fixed. Uh, where is that from? All right, it seems to be fairly steady. Now we got launched. Now we 
looks like one of the numbers here has uh, somehow slid out of position. hard to correct. But yes, there she is in all her glory. Note the little uh, tail gunner position back here, tail in Charlie. I would imagine that would be a very uh, cold position to man. But for the adrenaline junkies, we've got the machine gun pit up here on the front with a lovely view of the thousands and thousands of feet of void between you and the ground. <laughs> Not for the faint of heart, I'm sure. We get close-ups of the uh, gun pit positions. Then we have the markings on the front and the control gondolas. And unfortunately, as I said, this one took a bit of a hit during shipping, but it doesn't look to be fatal. So I think I should be able to fix it just fine. Little, little. Elbow grease and super glue. And we do have one small piece that looks to be detached. I'll have to study some photographs to figure out exactly where it is from. Because it's like those pieces there and that piece there, but I don't see any obvious spot for it. I'm guessing probably a, an engine radiator by the look of it. Oh, and I have it on the base completely backwards. is in all her glory. Now just imagine how this will look on the gaming table. Most impressive. Uh, thank you Dave. Uh, lovely work. I am now the pleased as punch owner of a new German World War I Zeppelin. Ready to go. Well, let's show a little bit of scale. Here is a Fokker DR1 from Wings of Glory. Just to give you an idea of the size of this beast. And then to give you some size of scale for something reference, there is a dollar bill. As you can see, <laughs> it is quite large. And there are the maneuver cards used by the minis. Uh, just a quick little synopsis of the game. You choose cards and maneuver around. Check to see if your enemy is in your firing arc and shoot. Wonderfully simple little game. And I'm sure some people have been wondering about my attire. Um, the badge, just a simple quick little printout of a World War I Zeppelin badge. Glued it to cardboard and just put a little pin on there for backing. Voila! Quick and dirty little Zeppelin badge. Probably won't hold up real well, but it looks the part. And then the hat is actually an American uh, fireman's 
dress hat that I, I got a couple with uh, another lot. I didn't really know what to do with it and then saw a picture when I found out I would be getting this beautiful Zeppelin. Um, seeing a picture of the Zeppelin commanders and their World War I German naval hats, I'm like, that's very similar to the bell crown type hats that they use. So I did a little bit of repair work, replaced the uh, sweatband that was missing, cleaned it up a bit, replaced the uh, chin strap, and once again printed out a uh, German naval officer's badge, glued it to cardboard, and stuck it to the front. So it looks the part. And that's pretty much that. All right, well, I would like to give a shout out to my director, producer, cameraman, editor, Max. His channel is Mercer Fun. Uh, he is the instrumental in helping me create this video and bring it to you. And finally, once again, I would like to thank Dave for allowing me the opportunity to finally get my hands on one of these beautiful Zeppelins. I've wanted one since I first saw them on the aerodrome when I first joined in 2013, and now I finally have one. And so ends my first video. Uh, you have to admit, very epic box opening. Oh, and before I forget, if you like the video, like it, leave a comment, subscribe, share. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye. Now it's recording. I'm just being a director, Philip. And I think you're enjoying it way too much. Take three. I do not understand. It, you went blank? Yeah. Stand by. Let me. I have to. You might well pull a chair up. Uh, and I like where your head is sitting. Good. And it's got. It's fine. I see the little red light pointing at my face. You're good. Just uh, don't move. I want to see something here. Okay, you need to center yourself on the package. All right. Lord knows I want to pleasingly present my package to the world. Is that enough, do you think? Probably. <laughs>